This is an overview of the Creative Button Hovers widget by Unlimited Elements for Elementor. Let's get started. To get started, drag the Creative Button Hovers widget into your Elementor column. What this widget does, it's an awesome hover effects bundle for your Elementor buttons. Let's go over the settings and see how we can customize this. So the first setting is for the button text. For example, I'm going to change the button text to learn more. Over here, we can attach this to a link and we can also use dynamic tags to open a pop up or something like that. Inside of styles, we have all the different styles for the button. So right now you can see it's slide from up. So it's sliding for the upside. We can change it to any one of these presets and you can see these are really nice. You can play around with them and find the one that you like. I really like diagonal. Awesome. Alignment, we can align the button differently. So for example, I'm aligning it to the left or to the right or back to the center. Button width, right now the width is just the size of the text and padding. But if you wanna go full width of the whole column, all you need to do is just change over here to full and you can change that. We can also make the transition a bit slower. For example, half a second instead of one third of a second. Inside of the style tab, we can change the button color, background color to any color that we like. Hover background color. So that's the background once we hover over it and button padding. So let's unlink this just to see that. And for example, I can add 10 more pixels on top and 10 more pixels on the bottom. That just makes it bigger. Let's change back the hover color. Awesome. Border color is for the border you see over here. You can make the border wider if you want to. For example, let's say four pixels. And I can change, for example, the border color on the hover to be a different color. So now it doesn't stay black. Once you hover, also the border changes. Inside of typography, we can change the typography settings. For example, how big the button is, maybe the typography, the font family. Let's just change the letter spacing, for example. And that's about it. You can change the text on hover and the color of the text when it's not on hover. So let's just leave it red and once you hover it turns to white i hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and i'll see you in the next video